Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and today we're going jellyfish jellyfish jellyfishing je je we're going to go wrangle some jellyfish because in the last episode I believe I found a way to get to the core like the proper core not just the inside of the current but the core of Giants Deep now I could be making this up I could be connecting dots that need not any connection but I feel like this game doesn't just drop things for the sake of dropping it. I feel like Felspar mentioning the jellyfish that he found, that they found, as a hint towards how to get to the core. And then the fact that the jellyfish has this kind of rubbery exterior that protects its insides from electricity. And the fact that we can get inside the jellyfish, also very important. So I feel like... That's the way we're going to go. If it doesn't work, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. But we'll figure that out when we get there. We're just going to go for this one. No thinking, no prior planning, other than we're going to go catch a jellyfish, and I'm going to get inside that goddamn core. Right, I wish I could breathe that clearly. I'm still suffering with a hay fever. We should start a count of how many times I mention hay fever in the series that I release over summer. Because it's getting worse. It is getting worse. And I didn't realise pollen counts get worse as the day goes on. I didn't know that. I thought they would get worse till around like midday when the sun is at its kind of at its peak. But apparently not. Apparently that's not how this works. And um, which makes me very sad indeed. But I'm not gonna be sad today. There's no sadness to be found. In outer wilds definitely not today we're having a happy day we're having an exploratory day we're going to go catch jellyfish and that's gonna be that I'm not gonna find anything upsetting I'm not gonna find anything heartbreaking maybe hopefully hopefully not hopefully not I, I think I'm starting to get over the fact that this has to end I think I'm starting to accept that um, I'm aware that we've got the DLC to go which to be fair I'm really looking forward to doing um, but I think I am definitely starting to kind of get the hang of everything and, and kind of just accept that it's okay that this is going to end one day. Right, which one of you suckers? Ah. <laughs> it's you. It's you. It's always you. Ah. Another happy landing. Okay, so now I need to figure out, can I? Oh my God, that one is going down. That one's going down. Ah, oh, you son of a. Right, so some of these jellyfish, uh, they go up and then they come back down again. So I need to find me a jellyfish. That's just about, ah, ha, ha. right now. Can I do this with the ship? I don't think a ship is going to fit in there, right? I just get the impression the ship's not going to fit. So I'm going to be a man about this. And I'm going to grab my suit. And we're, we're going for it. Come on, please. Please don't electrify me. Oh, yes! Oh yes, this is it. This is the ticket. <laughs> oh, come on. This is so cool. I freaking love this game. I can't tell if we're moving or if it's just that breathing. I think it's just this breathing. We are definitely moving a little bit though. We need to be careful. The last thing I want to do is fall through here just as we're about to go through the core. Which I think we are starting to sink back down towards it. That looks like it's getting closer. Oh boy. I hope Felspar was right. Oh, I'm about to become one crispy Arthian.
I don't know when it's safe. I don't know when it's safe. I don't know when it's safe. I don't feel safe anymore. Oh my god. I don't feel safe anymore. I feel so unsafe. I feel so unsafe. I feel s oh no. No 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 no. 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 I'm going to stick very close to all of this because I have a bit of a fear of deep water. Oh my god. This is this is not good. Get me in here. Oh, thank goodness, I can breathe. Oh. This is the mask. This is the mask we found. Oh. We did it. We are here. This is the third statue. This is the one that we saw through the projection stone. There's an Ash Twin projection stone? Okay, so we know this. One, two, three. So there's three active masks, right? We we know that. Okay, so I've got that. I can go pop this over here, and we'll have a little read. And there's another one. Launch module projection stone. I believe these are just going to connect us to places that we have already seen. Yeah, we've been here. That's okay, though. For now, I'm going to nick this. And pop that down. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Raimi is adding finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the Orbital Probe Cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Once the probe determines the location of the island universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Are you not connected to a person? Are you just connected to the ship? <sighs> Does that mean there's no more Nomai? Hmm. I didn't think it could just connect to inanimate stuff. <sighs> Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honoured and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe cannon once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the Orbital Probe Cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay, there's nothing else down here to read. I mean, the module seems largely intact. Right? It's watertight. Okay, so this is Giant's Deep. We, we do be knowing that. Oh, you can see the probe. 
Receiving data from probe 9,318,086. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Wow. I have been very tempted to see if I can just follow the probe. By the way, that was kind of something in my kind of memory banks. Like, I remember having the impulse to try that. No way. Achieving previous launch date from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,086. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the IV universe found by probe 9,318,054. That's the first probe. That's roughly however many loops we've done. This is what, episode 26, and we've had a few like double loopers before. Is that why we've... That's very coincidental. That must be the pro the first probe that we got to see. Weird runes. I don't that doesn't look no my. Achieving sword coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. What do you mean? What you- where's- I need to get back to the ship. I need to get back to the ship. I need to- get me out of here. I need to get back to the ship. What do you mean we know- oh my god. What do you mean we know where it is? Ah, uh, can you stop? How do I get back out of here? And why? Right, no. Immediate questions first. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to partly ignore the fact that we definitely just we we know where the eye of the universe is. I'm gonna ignore that momentarily because this is a freaking dark bramble seed, but it's entirely enveloped. Like, I can't see any way in here. Which for me is quite weird. Right, you look like a good jellyfish to go catch a ride on. Oh no. Holy moly, I think we just about made it. Okay, I think we're actually going down at the moment. Or are we? No, we're through. Oh my god, we timed. Ah! We did not time that well at all. We timed that very well. Ship. I'm not going to look down. I'm not going to look down. I know there's nothing in here that can hurt me, apart from the electricity. Ship, come on. Come on, ship. Come on. Why are you all the way over there? I don't remember sending you over there. I definitely don't remember sending you that way. Which is weird. Although he probably just got picked up or knocked by something. I need to check the ship's log. Come on, swim faster, god damn you! I love the, 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 the giant's deep soundtrack. There we go. Come on, ship. I, I've never seen the Nomai write like that, though. I've never seen the... I don't know if that's maybe numbers. But I don't know. Right. Let's have a catch-up. 
Because there's a few things that we've learned about. Okay. This is the important one. The Alter Probe Cannon has launched millions of probes. The probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Yeah, but that's just going to take me down into the planet, isn't it? Yeah, so how do I translate those? I, I don't know what those coordinates mean. I don't know what they mean. I don't know. I thought that I'd be, have a way to kind of translate the coordinates. I thought... I'd, I thought we had a lead. No, my coordinates marking the location I can use. I thought we'd be able to find it. Right? I thought we'd be able to find it. But no. God damn it! I feel lost now. I, I, I genuinely felt like, oh my god, we found it. We can go and see it. I mean, we have been there with a the quantum moon, but we can't... We can't get out of the tower on the quantum moon. Can we? Let's go talk to Gabbro. Let's see if... Our residential stoner has any words of wisdom. Because I need it. We found... We've, we've been there. But now I can't... Do it properly? Uh, also, I'm pretty sure last time I checked... It said there was more to explore on Gabro's Island. Bramble Island, Veldspar's Camp, Statue Island. Where's Gabbro's Island? Well, I was being absolutely obtuse. Am I being blind? I know this ah, Gabbro's Island. Oh no, never mind. We've seen everything here, apparently. I could have sworn at some point it told me that I hadn't explored everything here, which really confused me. Right. Let's go see if they've got anything new to say. I really hope they do. Shine some light for me, Gabbro. Hey, time pal. Nice weather we're having, huh? Wait. Have I used that one before? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I saw your ship again. I hope it's having fun. Did you say hi for me? I like how the text has changed each time we come and see them. Found something. Um, found your quantum poem. Oh yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, huh? It works out to be uh, works out to a good twenty-four poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpture that just like shows up while your back is turned and scares the daylight out of you. I like the sound of that. Um, find out what happened to the Orbs Pro Cannon. I think we've spoke about that. Yeah. Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slade or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised I know my built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Okay, so there isn't anything about that. Yeah. 
Is there any other text options that we've not used? How do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. That's quite nice. Like, there wasn't any panicking then, there wasn't any big blue light or anything like that, it just kind of happened. That's quite nice. I like that. I like that, but now, now I'm at an impasse, I'm trying to figure out what, what to do. I think there's only one thing for it. I think there's only one thing for it. We've been tracking this probe cannon for a while. We know where it's going. We know where it's going, and we have to go there. thing is I need to pass a little bit of time before we can go to where I want to go. And we are going to the twins. We're going to do it. We're finally going to go. We need to find out what is going on inside the Ash Twin. And that does mean we get to just relax for a moment and just kind of enjoy the sights. You're having a hybrid episode today. We're doing a little bit of everything. We're doing a little bit of smell the pines. So we're gonna set down here and just gonna relax. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll take a moment to just kind of not quite meditate, but just reflect on things, I think. So we'll we'll have a read through here, see if there's anything new. So I know my mind's quantum grove. The strange rock shard in this grove that moves when I'm not watching it. We have found the frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees. We'll go through sun station. We haven't been to the sun station yet. We could maybe do that. Because we, we just straight up haven't been there. Do I do that? That's good. That's right. I'm being real ADHD today. Let's try find Sun Station. But I don't know how I'm meant to land on it. Without frying myself. Also, there was something cool going on there with the music. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. No. Ah, there it is. Last thing, I don't think I can even lock onto it because it doesn't have enough of its... Now, that looks like it's got a warp place on it, but I don't know how I'm meant to warp to it. Does it have a warp tower as well? Oh man, this is going to be... I don't know if I can land on this or if I have to do it through a tower. Feels too dangerous to land. I don't feel like I can get close enough. Which I'm not really a big fan of. I'm just going to fry myself. I can't get, cl I can't get close enough. Which is ironic, because the sun's just a big old gravity thing. There must be a way to teleport there. 
right? Because I can't... Eh. No, I've missed it. Oh, no, what am I doing? I press every wrong button in the book. Ah! Right, let's call that one a day. Let's not try that again. It's really frustrating me. I need to go there, but I don't know how. I don't know how. I, d I feel like I don't have that knowledge yet. We're wasting time though, like I said we needed to. And this music is making me feel things again. I can't say it enough that I've fallen head over heels in love with this game. It's so full of wonder, so full of love. I think this is close to a perfect game that I've ever played. I've never felt so infatuated before. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a rough landing. Or not. I had you fooled, didn't I? <laughs> so we are going right here. This is where we're going. So one of these... Goes. Or is it one? Ah! That was very rude. I need the sands to go down a bit more, maybe. Maybe. We'll wait for the sand to go down a little bit more. A literal sand timer. Ain't that fun? I have so many thoughts. I'm I'm not quite over finding out that that statue is quite possibly just linked to the probe. That makes me sad. So I got so hopeful. I thought maybe, surely, there's there's one out here somewhere, one who survived, and there wasn't. There wasn't. They never made it. Which is very upsetting. But that's how things are. And we just have to go with it. Well, here comes the sand, I think. I hope I'm safe in here. So, by my logic then, Oh, I need to wait for the sand to get like right over me because the twins share a gravity thing so this is going to warp me somewhere and it's either this one or it's the other one that I need to warp to no 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 you son of a freaking It needs to be within five degrees. So do I maybe just need to like really, really, really just knuckle down on the flying downwards? Surely, right? Or am I maybe safe in here because, ah no, I'll do it in this one. We'll try this one. But that's telling me that one maybe takes me somewhere, but I don't get why that would take me somewhere. I don't get why that one would. Or is one of these this, one of these might be the sun station? Maybe one of these is a sun station. Maybe this one's for the Ash Twin. I don't know. I'm just I'm confused. I don't know. 
I feel like one of these will take me back to the Ember Twin. And one of these will take me to the Ash Twin. And if I've got this wrong, this is going to be really frustrating for everyone. Because you guys watching now know if I'm on the correct one. Or if I'm not on the correct one. But there's only one way I'm going to find out if I'm on the correct one. And that's by sitting here and praying. Fingers crossed, I guess. I've never actually been so nervous for finding something out before. Because if I go to the Amber Twin, the Amber Twin, the Ember Twin, I'm going to look like such an idiot. And then I'm going to cry and throw myself off a cliff. Come on, right, I'm going to fly down, fly down, fly down, just in case. Fly down. Come on. Come on. Show me the money. I hope this doesn't lift me up too. It shouldn't do, because we're inside, right? You son of a... Of course it's the bloody difficult to use one. Luckily I can do that. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ship. Land ship on. Land ship on. Maybe ship give me time. Maybe ship acts as temporary barricade. Maybe. I don't think it'll be that advanced. If it is, I'm going to be really freaking impressed. Right. But, right. Hear me out. What if... Just what if... I can lodge this thing in here long enough... For the sands to think that this is... A roof? Worth trying, right? That's so not going to work. That's just so silly. <laughs> I need this. Come on, please. Otherwise, I just, I don't know. Otherwise, I'm lost. I won't know what to do. This has got to be it. This has got to take me inside. Oh, I'm so stressed. And that is looking very red. Come on, twin. I wish I could get that ship in here and just kind of like sit over the top of me. Okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth, boys. Burn that fuel, burn that fuel, burn that, burn that, burn that fuel, burn that fuel, burn that fuel, burn that, burn that, burn that fuel. Uh, uh, this isn't going to work. No! 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 Come on! How am I meant to do this? How the hell? Unless maybe I'm thinking that. Maybe I'll use that to block me. Oh, I'm really sorry for all the Outer Worlds experts out here watching me struggle with this. I thought this was going to be simpler than it was. Or do I hide in here? And then, like, the second the sand passes by? Right, I'm going to try this one first. This one feels more sensible. It feels like there's a reason there's an alcove here. So we'll hide in the alcove. Then the second it is clear, I'm going to put like a toe on that and that's gonna send me i'm convinced right i am losing my mind here i feel like i am losing my mind i feel like i'm just sitting into like that crazy outer wilds uncle 
Like, have you tried using the warp tower or the ash twin? It's gonna be me to my grandkids. <laughs> if they're like, hey, granddad, we got into the ash twin real quick. And I'll be like, god damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into like a weird mix of Esker and Rutile. Just a grumpy old man. Right. Come on. Because I don't think I'm going to have many more attempts at this. I might have one more attempt at this and then I won't have time to explore. Oh, I love problem solving. But I hate it at the same time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me the money. This is it. This is it. This is the one. This is the big one. If this is it, because it's got to be within five degrees, okay? So it, it's it's not inaccurate. It's not one hundred percent. I would very much like it to be one hundred percent. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! God, yes! Did it. Did it. Now I'm not going to have the time to explore. 15 minutes, 39 seconds ago. No, we'll be okay. In previous cycles. Masks receiving data from pro tracking module. Giant Steep memory statue. Tim Mahalath memory statue. Seven minutes until end of cycle transmission. Okay. We're okay. We are actually... Oh my god, there's so much to read here! Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambition project yet. The Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. Also, right, I don't like to do this. I quite like having... Um, the, the I don't like it pausing when I'm translating the text. But for the sake of this end of episode, I'm doing it. I'm not wasting this. You could say it's cheating because I've done the whole of the rest of the series like this, but I need this. Let me have this one. Then I'll go back to how I normally do it. Okay, how far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I can still hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we have altered the environment here. Oh. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giants Deep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. This soundtrack is transcending. Also, if it is glitching a little bit, my mouse, I'm not even touching my mouse, it sometimes thinks I'm moving it. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis Accords could have been forged faster if Casper had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. Yarrow. The important point is we are all connected to Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the Orbs of Pro Cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon's doing well and the Avens advocates for more launch power. Oh my god, listen to it. If anyone can coax the maximum power from the device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go the device into exploding, that too is like the Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Pro Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, 
will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? We've got so much to read, and so little time. Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it is at last complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power for the Ash Twin project. I knew it. I'm impressed by their mental force too. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy project, using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun Station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. Suppose we de redesign the Sun Station to generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new. So excited to welcome the comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. And they didn't know what it would do. I have installed the mask inside the Astrium project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash-Twin project, the statues and the mask will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of this problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central cave chamber of Ash-Twin. No, it isn't. Oh, we've read these. These are the these are the other way. This is the other transmission. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Pokes only. No we've read these. This is where they were sending them from. They were sending it from the Ash Twin. This is where the the transmissions have been coming from. The writing is blue and yellow. Yellow is a transmission from somewhere outside we found where they were they were here they were here artificial gravity control oh damn that would be dope as hell what have i done oh i turned the gravity off that was silly Ah, turn that bad boy back on. Ugh, turn that sucker on for a moment. Thank you. You 
You are about to access the core of the Ashwin project. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Oh, I'm about to access the core. No, what's the sound? No! No, 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 please, no. No, what's going on? Ah! Three minutes. We've got three minutes, we're okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. 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 No, 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 no. Not yet. Not like this. Don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. <laughs> 